And good morning, Ian. Good morning, T. Mauritius introduced a new category of visa recently for any non-citizen who wants to come and stay in Mauritius on a short-term basis. What can you tell about this to our listeners today? T, I think it's important just to understand what existing visas exist in Mauritius. There's currently an investor permit, there's an occupation permit, there's a permit attached to the ownership of removal property, there's a retiree permit and there's something called the permanent residence. Now, I think the authorities realise that immigration is stressful, let's face it, it is. So they've introduced this sixth category of visa being a premium visa, which allows a prospective person to come and live in Mauritius for a period of one year. And that experience allows them to experience the, uh, the island through the seasons, possibly live in different regions. Mm -hmm. And the difference between the premium visa and the current tourist visa, the current tourist visa is valid for 180 days. Yes. But the premium visa allows a person to work in Mauritius or to render services from Mauritius, not necessarily, but not in the, in the, in the domestic markets. Mm -hmm. And I think it just gives the ability for prospective immigrants to experience Mauritius. What other advantages does this visa offer? Well, besides the fact that you able to stay in Mauritius for an extended period of time. It allows a person to live in Mauritius together with their dependents, as I mentioned, has got a, a one-year visa. And I think what I said in the beginning of the discussion, it allows a prospective immigrant to experience different areas of, the Mauritius, of Mauritian life through the seasons and to make an informed decision as to whether you would like to live in Mauritius on a permanent basis. The application must be made to the EDB. So what are the documents that are normally required to, to get the premium visa? Well, I think today with all applications to authorities, you need to verify your identity. Mm -hmm. So needless to say, they need passports. They need a copy and then they need a passport photo. They would need a copy of your birth certificate need a copy of your marriage certificate. Um, yeah, I think to a large extent those are the, the type of documentation that the EDB would require in order to process the visa. Mm -hmm. I believe the person doesn't need to be physically present in Mauritius. So the, I heard that the application takes about 48 hours, but how is the, the visa submitted to the applicant? Well, Mauritius has, has embraced technology, so as you mentioned, um, the person doesn't need to, or the applicant doesn't need to be in Mauritius for the visa to be to be issued. The application is done online, mm -hmm. and once the EDB has satisfied themselves that the person has satisfied all the tests, they will then issue the visa and convey that vi that visa to the applicant by way of an email. As we all know that, um, be it an investor permit or a professional permit, there are a lot of financial considerations being involved, be it the amount of money to be invested or the amount of salary you need to earn. What about the charges that are relevant for an application of a premium visa? Well, I think you've you touched on, on, on another aspect there is, obviously you come in to live in Mauritius as a guest. You need to demonstrate to the EDB that you're able to sustain yourself mm -hmm. for the period of time that you had to be here. So the legislation provides that you need to demonstrate to the EDB that you have fifteen hundred that you have access to fifteen hundred dollars per month for yourself, and then four hundred dollars for each of your dependents, and that would be your spouse or any person under the age of twenty three, a dependent who is financially. Um, <clears throat> reliant on you for their, for their upkeep. And this can be demonstrated to the EDB by way of bank statements, investments based statements, or a contract of employment that you may have uh, concluded with a foreign employer or consultancy agreement that you've concluded with a non-Mauritian demonstrating the requisite amount of income um, and that will be that will satisfy the EDB that you have sufficient funds in order to 
to sustain to sustain yourself in Mauritius. From a cost point of view, the EDB issue the uh, visa without charge, but um, I suppose then the next question is that in the event of you asking a professional firm to apply Assist. for the visa for you, there are costs involved. Mm -hmm. And uh, the costs, I think, for Jewish tax to apply for such a visa in the region of $1,500. If someone is interested to apply for a premium visa, what are other matters that he needs to consider, such as for, in terms of tax? Well, that's another great advantage that the visa does, uh, does provide. Mauritius has got a, a residence-based taxation system in terms of which the residents are subject to tax on the worldwide income. But in the case of a premium visa, you're considered to be not present in Mauritius from a tax point of view. Another principle of tax is that you're subject to tax in the jurisdiction where you render the, render, render the service. So if you're in Mauritius on a premium visa, you're physically present in Mauritius when you're rendering the consultancy services to the foreign, uh, foreign engager of services or to the foreign employer. The legislation then modifies that and it says that to the extent that the income that you generate from the rendering of those services are not, rendered, are not remitted to Mauritius, that income is not taxable in Mauritius, mm -hmm. then obviously Mauritius would obviously like the prospective immigrant to introduce funds into Mauritius. We don't have capital gains tax in Mauritius, so if you remit capital to Mauritius, it's not taxable. And if you remit income to Mauritius, then you will require to submit a notification or an affidavit, not really an affidavit, just a um, document indicating that the that income has already been taxed in another jurisdiction. Okay. Thank you so much, Ian, for your insight. Um, do you think this visa is attracting a lot of interest? I think this has got massive interest, uh, to T. The latest figures I'm aware of, there are about 1,400 of these visas in uh, circulation. And already? I suspect there are more applications, certainly the persons I've spoken to are very interested in this application. I think it's a, it's a great way to see if Mauritius is the right place for you. Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure talking to you, Ian. It's great chatting to you always, T. Thank you.